One internalizes, one externalizes, pretty common in sibling trauma. One becomes the golden child and one the scapegoat even more common. So here's the thing, we're at a point where we're blatantly watching Harry externalise. He's out here, he's angry with the world, he wants to lash out, he wants to get justice for his pain, for his mum, for people to hear him shout. We watched him over the years on rooftops in Vegas and being Harry, the Harry that the British people come to love and support for his ways, leave Harry alone we used to say. However, with all his externalizing and lashing out and going the wrong way in different directions and not finding himself, William, the internalizer, the one who takes on that pain and takes on that responsibility like it's all his fault and he has to fix, he has to protect, whilst he's slowly inside taking it all on his self, on his shoulders, that pain, that, that loneliness of not being able to speak out, not being able to express himself. However, he's got the pressure to be king on his shoulders too, so he's got to stand in line, he's got to do the best thing. How and where did we get to the point where people will validate Harry and his trauma and his pain because he's externalizing in this way? Yet William, he has a rook in the kitchen with his brother and the dog bowl gets broken. And it's like he's abusing, he's horrible, he's mean. How about he faced the same trauma that day the news broke of their mom and her loss in that way and he walked behind the coffin being the big brother like he did and chose to internalize his pain which has caused him great heart ache how about two brothers is equal in their pain is equal in their trauma how about two brothers who are not so equal in their sympathy for that day because of the way harry has took the reins so one becomes the golden child and one the scapegoat even more common